Can you believe there's another Wimpy Kid movie hitting theaters already? I, I just saw it yesterday and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> like, like it was just like, a, it's like a big rush right now. It's like, <sighs> like it's, it's what I, I really can't believe it. When did you start filming this one? Did you film it right after the other one came out? I start, well, the first one came out in March, last March. And we didn't start filming the next one until like August. Because the, the thing was that they had to write a script for it. Because they wanted to see if the first one did well. So if the first one did well, we would make a second. And it did do well. It did really good. Um, so we, we started filming like, like four months after, something like that. We started filming like in the middle of August and we finished at the end of October. So they edited this really fast. Really fast? Yeah. And that shooting's pretty fast too. Yeah, it, it was. We we would do like a couple a uh, couple scenes per day. We were we were pretty fast. You get tired at all on set working all those? Um. Well, the thing is, the they the way like the um like wor work rules are with um acting is that we couldn't go over nine and a half hours. So we'd have like and like there was a limit where like I don't know what the exact thing was, but you had to have a certain amount of time before you could start working again. Something like that, I think. I, I don't really... It was something like that. But we we were fine. We were really fine. Unless we stayed up really late. It, it, if we, like, went to bed, like, uh, almost as soon as we got back, we'd be fine. I've got a hard time imagining you going to bed right when you got back. I go to bed really early. You should see me. But every day, I go to bed at, like, 7 o'clock at night. Like, when there's a school day, I go to bed at, like, 7 o'clock at night. My sister, on the other hand, st stays up till like, midnight. And she's only 10. <laughs> Did she hang out with you on the set? Um, well, she, um, di no, she, uh, she didn't, she did visit. They did visit. I just went out with my dad when we, um, were filming. But, uh, they visited from time to time. They, they visited, like, once. And then I would go back home for a little while. And you had your mom with you on the first one, right? Yes, my mom played my mom in the movie, which was really, really cool. How was the guy who played your dad in this movie? Was it weird having your dad on set and then having your on-screen dad with you? It, it was really weird, but actually my dad, um is in this movie, in the second one. He doesn't say anything, but you can really easily see him. And the funny thing was, they put my dad next to my movie dad in the movie. I, I get a kick out of that. So how was it for you getting back on set? Like, do you feel like an old pro now? That you know how, you know your stuff from, <laughs> around a set? You, de you definitely feel like you know more when you go back for a second time. Like, because with the first one, it was my first lead role, so I was like, oh, jeez, I got to do this. This is going to be hard. But with the second one, it, it's it's much easier because you already know the stuff you pretty much have to do. It's just, like, doing it. You know what you have to do. And how is it working with the new director? Did that did that change things at all for you? Not really. We got to, we, we met David Bowers, the new director, and we, we got to know him, and he, he's really, really nice. And, like, there wasn't any tension or anything. We, we we got along fine. I really liked David. What kind of advice did he have for you? Did he want you to do anything differently than, than the first time around? Not really, no. Not really. Um, we, we, we had to act, like, the same as our characters in the first one. We didn't have to, like, drastically change anything. The one, the one year didn't make it much of a difference for you? Sixth to seventh grade? Not really. Not really. Well, one of the things in the movie was um, Ra Rowley had to act a little bit more confident because when, when once you're in seventh grade, you're not in sixth grade anymore. You're not, like, starting out all over again. And now, this is something my friends and I said I think really um, helps out. When you're in fifth grade, um, like, when we go to middle school, it's in the um, – it starts in the sixth grade – when you're in fifth grade, you feel like you're at the top of the class because you're the oldest and stuff. When you go to sixth grade, it's like kindergarten all over again. You're with a ton of like big people. You like like you don't even know, and you're like starting out a new school. It, it it really is like kindergarten all over again. So how was it hanging out with all the friends you made from the first set? It was really, really, really cool, and I got to know more about them than I had known 
from the first movie. Like um, Grayson Russell, the kid who plays Spregley. He really, really liked Lord of the Rings. And one of the cool things was I actually watched the movies. I had never seen them before. So I watched the movies with him, and I became a nut about it with him. That was one of the cool, that was one of the best things that happened to me during the second filming. I really bonded with Grace and with Lord of the Rings. Good movies to be watching. Yes. Are you watching a lot more movies now, now that your career has kind of taken off here? Oh, you should, you should only know. The thing was, my mom would like kill my dad and I. What happens is, in um, Canada, all the movies that are like are in America, are um, 14 and above, which is like PG-13 in America. So dad would always be like, oh, it's uh, 14 and above, we can watch it. Like, and then when we go on like IMDb, we find out that all these movies are R in America. So I saw like 50 different movies that my mom would like kill me if she had known I went to see them. Like it, just as bad as the foot in the movie? Oh, <laughs> much scarier. That was kind of funny. What's the scariest movie you've seen? That's a good question. Honestly, you might be surprised I saw this. Um, probably The Exorcist. That was freaky. What are you doing watching The Exorcist now? <laughs> I, I'm mature for my age. My dad's always said that, and a lot of people say that. I, I'm pretty mature for my age. What about Frank and Weenie? You watching the uh, original one of that? Oh, well, yeah, I did see the original, original one of that, yeah. How's that going? Are you working on that now? Well, one of the things about that is it's kind of like ongoing. Like what happens is they um, usually you do all your lines, and then if they have any, and, and then if they have a lot of revisions, they'll call you back in, um, again. Right now, I've done all my lines, and now I'm just waiting to see if they'll have any revisions for um, for Frank and Weenie. Did they have you work with anybody? Because you're in a sound booth by yourself most of the time, right? Yeah. You, you do it by yourself, yeah, which was um, really weird. It was really, really weird because um, with live action, you're always with people. You're almost always with people. And it was really, really weird to record lines, like, by yourself. And Tim Burton was there with you, though, right? Well, yeah, the director's there. He's just, in, like, off to the side. And you have, like, this little headset thing on. And um, Tim was telling me all the stuff he wanted me to do, like, from the headset. But you you kind of already do that with ADR. Only voiceover is much easier. ADR is when like um after the movie's done, if they want to get um like better um maybe there was a problem with the microphone you were wearing or something like that. So what they do is they make you say your lines again with a microphone where there's like nothing happening in the back. But it's harder because you have to say it the exact same time. Like they show it to you and like and you have to say it as soon as your character would say it. Like they have these little they go like beep 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 and then on the third beep you have to say it like like you have to say it exactly the same way and um ADR definitely helps you with voice because you you have you basically have to be doing the same thing as voice over only voice is easier because you can talk for like as long as you want you don't have to shorten it down or anything What's it like doing something like that compared to something like this, where it seems like you gotta be spontaneous. You have a whole group of kids in one big scene. You gotta ad lib a little, have some fun. Um, it, it was it was definitely different. Yeah, it it was definitely different. That reminds me, one of the things I liked about the thing was, like you said, with ad libbing. We actually got to ad lib a little bit more with the set with um the second movie. Like one of the things I came up with in the movie, Manny puts um a cookie into. Greg's like I think it was an Xbox. I don't really know. They didn't show the. I think it's an Xbox. He puts a cookie into like the Xbox. So when he opens it up, there's like a giant cookie. One of the things I came up with that I thought would be really funny is if Rowley just picked it up and ate it. And they actually put that in the movie, which I thought was really really cool. I came up with that. I Very I was appropriate. I, yeah. I I thought that was something that Rowley would do. So yeah. And what about some of the other scenes in the film? What was your favorite one to shoot? What was the most fun you had? The most fun I had was definitely the um, the one where uh, Greg, Z well, Zach and I are in the back of Roderick's van because they put us in this little machine called a gimbal. What they did, like what they would do, is there'd be a guy with the controls and he and he press a button. It would make it like we're in this big rebuilding of the van, like high up in the air, like probably about as high as not the ceiling, maybe maybe like a little bit less than the ceiling, um, and. 
what they did was they the guy would have the controls and he'd shake it to make us go flying. Like they wouldn't actually put us in the van and make us actually do it, but they just shook it around and it was so fun. Because we were just bouncing all over the place. I was loving it. I, I like I kept wanting to go like woo every time we were falling. I had to act like I was scared, but I was having a blast. When I was watching that scene, I was wondering if they had stunt doubles in there for you guys. Well, they actually they actually did because they they could have like levels of hardness. Like the oh, they did have stunt doubles for um one of them. That there was one where they literally hit the ceiling. The stunt doubles of the van. They literally hit it because it went like and they literally went flying right into the ceiling and fell back down. I wish I could have done that. That would have been so awesome. It is kind of nice that Rally doesn't get hurt this time around. Yes, I know. He actually doesn't break his arm or anything. Nothing. But uh, how is it doing that party scene, too? That also looked like a good time. Th that that was really fun. Doing that conga line was so... We That was actually the last thing I did. The The last um thing that I filmed was the conga line, where... um. I'm saying I wish my mom was here as we're doing the con line. That was the last thing we filmed. So it, but I, it was it was really really um fun doing the conga line. And when we filmed it, I didn't know that was my last scene. So like we were doing like everybody was saying last take everybody. And my dad just comes up to me and he's like, by the way, Robert, I just found out this is your last scene. And I was like, what? I remember. I, I was. And so I did it. And then it was the end. It was like whoa. Uh, yeah. Is that scary that when when a shooting like that comes to an end? Like it, 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 it is. It is. It it does make you kind of sad, but uh, it, well, it does make you sad. Yeah, you you get over it after a while. But when you're having as much fun as we as like you did on uh as we did on Diary of a Wimpy Kid too, like when it was over, it was just like that was quick. Like three months goes by really fast. Three months doesn't seem like three months. It seems like a week at the end of it. And are you still friends with all the other kids in the movie? Like, yes. Do you still keep in touch even yeah. when you're not shooting? Yes. The, um, uh, uh, the kid who plays Fregley, Grayson Russell, he has a PlayStation 3, and I got a PlayStation 3 when I came home from Diary Room Kid 2. So now we can use these headsets and we can talk to one another and we can play uh, video games with each other, which is really, really fun. That's a good time. Is that the kind of stuff you like to do when you're not working? You like video games? Yes. When I'm not working, I really like to play video games and I like to read that, that type of stuff. Stuff. So yeah. you read the Wimpy Kid books? Well, yeah, I read them, and I read, like, Harry Potter. I, I've, I've been done with that for a while. I just reread the books because I still can't get over how good they are. <laughs> what about the Hunger Games? Have you read that? Yes. That's the hottest yes. thing now. Yes, yes. And um, one of the producers of uh, the Hunger Games, Nina Jacobson, produced this movie, mm -hmm. which was really cool. I had read the books, um, the Hunger Game books, before so when I found out that um well actually no I had read them but I I remember going up to Nina and I was like you are producing the Hunger Games and she was like yes and I was like I was like and I was shocked so other than Frank and Weenie, what do you have next? I know, I'm sure you have your fingers crossed that Wimpy Kid 3 is gonna happen yeah yeah if the second movie does uh good then we almost definitely will do a uh, Diary of Wimpy Kid 3 and I've ha I've had a lot of auditions lately, so I'm really hoping that I get something.